is that everybody is terrified of a of a Trump presidency. You're so dumb. AOC, you are an absolute clown. And look, I'm all for broad generalizations. We make those claims all the time. But to say something like everybody's scared of a Donald Trump presidency delegitimizes about half or more of the entire population of the United States. And honestly, what I said is false because even people who don't like Donald Trump aren't afraid of Donald Trump. He was already president for four years and America was booming, baby. Things were a hell of a lot better back then. And honestly, speaking from my own personal view, and you can let me know down in the comments, I'm more afraid of a Democrat presidency in 2024, more afraid of that than I am afraid of a Donald Trump presidency. Because I think the only way we can get America back on track is with a Donald Trump presidency because the Democrat policies are detrimental to America. Anyways, not surprisingly, AOC has some more things she'd like to say. So before we get into that clip, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Is that everybody is terrified of a of a trump presidency and everybody wants to do everything and anything possible to prevent that from happening and i think that regardless of your position on that i think an overwhelming amount of people are motivated by that so six days after the attempted assassination of donald trump aoc declares that we will do everything and anything to prevent a Donald Trump presidency. Thought we were uh, toning down the rhetoric a little bit, claiming that we are all willing to do everything and anything to prevent it. Anything? Well, she is actually telling the truth, though. The deep state, the mainstream media, and all of the Democrats are all actively against Donald Trump, including indicting him 91 times or 88 times or whatever, trying to send him to jail, setting him around a circus court. They even tried to kill the guy. So yeah, I mean, I agree with you, AOC. You are trying to do everything and anything, but me personally, I'm trying to help Donald Trump get elected. Honestly, the simple fact that AOC has been in an elected position for as long as she has just shows how ignorant the masses are. And I don't mean that as an insult to the specific people she represents. I mean that as a broad statement. Like in your Poli Sci 101 class, the first thing they teach you is the masses are ignorant and apathetic. So they don't know a lot and they don't really care. And that's a broad generalization because generally speaking, it's pretty true. Most people don't know who their elected officials are locally. They don't know their congressmen. Now, if you're watching this video, you might know because you might be a little bit more informed. But the average person, they're not that informed. Because could you imagine being legitimately informed about AOC, following her, watching her, see, see what she's advocating for, and then thinking to yourself, wow, this is an honest, trustworthy, good candidate. No, no, you can't. I have another clip I'm going to show you that is pretty dumb. And I think it's equally as dumb as I feel that AOC is dumb. So this is a new trend where women are putting gaps in their teeth. And that's how dumb I think AOC is. That's it. I don't have anything else to say on it. Clearly that trend's insane. People pay how much money to get braces for X amount of years to straighten and align their teeth. You know, have you ever seen an adult with braces? It's like, good on you. You saved up for it and you're finally fixing an issue that you had. Great. That's awesome. Doing this, this is just pitiful. Anybody that's telling you that putting a gap in between your front teeth is a good look. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. And this isn't me advocating for violence. All right, here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your shoe, okay? Get yourself a chancla and just throw it at him. Again, I'm not advocating for violence. This is more of a disciplinary measure. What if I just started wearing hats in my videos? So if AOC was the ice cream in our stupidity dessert, and that last clip was the whipped cream, maybe a little bit of sprinkles, I present to you now the cherry on top. This is Joy Bear. And she's on The View. And you know me in The View. We have this sort of relationship where I despise 99% of the things they say. Except for yesterday's video, I did agree with what Sonny had to say. So yes, even a blind squirrel finds a nut sometimes. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. But let me tell you, this is not one of those instances. Why don't we give a listen to how she feels about Donald Trump thanking God for saving his life. I want to point out one thing. I'm speaking to fellow Christians. I was raised Catholic. I'm a Christian girl. 
when something like this happens to you, like this assassination attempt, and you say something like, God is watching, was watching me, that is a very unchristian thing to say because it's very narcissistic. What about, what about Corey, what's his name? Uh, uh, Convoy right, Corey, Corey, the Comfort fireman Corey. who also got I killed. I don't know. I think what, I'm Christian. What about all those guys who got Hook. killed on uh, Sandy Hook? All of those people. Yeah. It's like, oh, God was watching me and not watching them. There's something very disturbing. God about should have pulled the plug on that mic yesterday. <laughs> Wait, God is the technician now? Yes. He'll be right back. You needed one. <laughs> so Joy has literally lost her mind. I think anybody, even people, who maybe don't believe in God or they're agnostic, they think there's a God, but they're not specifically worshiping a specific God. If they have a life or death situation presented to them, it's very normal and natural, and it is a Christian thing, to thank God. It's the opposite of being a narcissist. She said, it's so narcissistic for you to thank God for being alive. Narci it's the opposite of being narcissist. It's not, I am almighty and powerful and nothing can stop me. It is, I know that I could easily be smited within a second. And I almost did. But thanks to the glory of God, I'm here today. And then she tries to connect it to the Sandy Hook shooting. So where was God then? Lady, are you even listening to yourself? You've lost your marbles. And look, I don't have your marbles. I don't know where you put them. I, I'm not quite sure you had any marbles to begin with. But even if you did have a couple of marbles at some point, I think they're all gone. I know they're all gone. So Joy, please go find your marbles. And then the lady at the end there, she mentioned how they should have pulled the plug on his microphone or something like that. You could tell they tried to get out of that situation really quick because she was kind of blurring some lines there between pulling the mic being a metaphor and a reality. That metaphor being for, you know, similar to the attempted assassination. Regardless, the people on the left are absolutely bonkers. So I decided to kind of match that energy today. And honestly, it didn't really, this is just, this is just my wardrobe. This is just how I look sometimes. Regardless, my name is Beans. Thank you for watching The Daily Beans. You have a blessed day now.